Hello everyone. If you try to Google the Chinese character Biao Qingbao, which means the gift in Chinese, then I assure you it will completely lead you to a new world. As a Chinese teacher, every day I got a message from my students. They ask me, Hey, teacher Ben Fang, why there are so many letters in the text of those gifts? What does that mean? And then I start to realize, that's true. We are actually using a lot of uh, letter slums on a daily basis, and there are no explanations for those letter slums in the textbook. So therefore, in today's video, I'm going to introduce you all the popular letter slums in Chinese, and we will start from letter A. The first one will be A Huo. A Huo in Chinese, we can also call it Fang Mao Pin which means the counterfeit goods, the fake products. For example, the fake LV, the fake Prada, we call them A Huo. The next one will be AA Zhi, or AA, which means to split the bill. Normally, if we are going out with one or two friends to a restaurant, this time I pay, next time you pay, we take turns. However, if we are going out with a bigger group, then we normally will split the bill. And in that case, we will say, 我们AA吧, let's go Dutch, let's split the bill. 我们AA吧. The next one will be a pian or AV, which refers to the adult movie. So let's see here, there's a very interesting gif said, 谁想看A片的? 举个手. For those who want to see the adult movie, please raise your hand. And next one will be ABC. ABC represents American-born Chinese. Uh, but nowadays, uh, the meaning is more general, not limited to United States, but also means Chinese Canadians, Chinese Australians, and so on. Well, in China nowadays, the creating star reality shows is getting more and more popular. For example, a lot of shows, they will find uh, hundreds of girls or boys, they compete with each other, and their final goal is to form a female or male dancing and singing group. And uh, normally, the boy or girl who is in the center place of the group we will call this place C Wei, which represents the most important position in this group. Therefore, uh, we have this new expression, which is C Wei Chu Dao, which means to start one's career as an entertainer at the very center position. Let's see the gif on the right. Wow, 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 我也要 C Wei Chu Dao which means uh, I also admire the boy and the girl who is in the center position. I also want to be the center of the group that I'm in. Another interesting observation of a CV, it's about the group photo of uh, celebrities. Everyone is trying to enter CV Chu, which is the zone of the center position. As long as you are in the CV2, which means you get the higher position compared to the ones on the side. And within the CV2, there's also this one CV, the most important center position. And uh, whoever standing in that CV, which means he or she is the most uh, important figure among everyone. Mm -hmm. Therefore, everyone is try to qiang CV. 抢 means to fight for, to grab. Uh, 抢 CV, which means to fight for the most important position of the group. Or we have another saying, which is a CV uh, which means the best seat is reserved for you. Please sit at the CV because we treat you as the most important person in the group. The next one will be this. Or in Chinese, we can also say dui. Uh, it's something like a, uh, try to provoke someone. 
could be to attack someone verbally or could be to publicly criticize someone. For example, 他总是diss我 or 他总是怼我 which means he's always publicly criticize me. Could be making a joke or could just try to make me angry. Another example is 你这样会被diss的,我跟你讲 which means if you behave like this, you will be criticized by everyone. I'm warning you. 你这样会被diss的,我跟你讲 Well, and now I'm going to show you one interesting sentence for you to diss someone. And uh, this sentence will be 你以为你是VIP uh, You thought you are the VIP, the very important person 其实你只是个P In fact, you are just a P What does the letter P mean? Uh, P is the homophone of the Chinese word fart, which is P uh, this sentence is just a joke. As good friends, we always like to diss each other. So uh, with someone that you are not so familiar, I suggest you don't say this sentence. Another slang related to P, which is uh, 个屁, and we always put the 个屁 in the end of the sentence. This 个屁 in the end of the sentence, which means rubbish or nonsense. For example, if someone says something to you and you are not agree with that person at all, you can just repeat whatever he or she said and then add a p in the end. For example, if your friend tells you, ah, I think this celebrity is so pretty, uh, but after you take a look at the, this celebrity and you think this person is not pretty at all, then you can say, ah, she is not pretty at all. And maybe your friend got mm, a little bit unhappy and he or she tried to defend him or herself. Then he may reply to you, you know nothing about it. It's a little bit vulgar, but uh, between good friends, it's totally fine and it will be more interesting. Alright, another one is 屁事 屁事 means the goddamn thing uh, It's uh, some uh, silly things that are not worth speaking of For example 他总是屁事一堆 He always has tons of annoying goddamn things And uh, those things I don't like, but uh, he's really into it or another famous thing is uh, which means it's none of your business. For example, if someone asks you a lot of private questions, 你赚多少钱? How much money you make? 你结婚了吗? Have you been married? Then you can tell this person, it's none of your business. It's a little bit of vulgar, so it really depends on the relation between the speakers. Uh, be careful with the letter P. Uh, P has many meanings. Uh, if you pronounce as tong for P, it's always related to fart. However, for the same letter, if we give it a different tone, tong one, P, that's completely a different meaning, which means to beautify the picture. Uh, as many of you already know that in China we really in love with the photo editing applications, the filters, the Photoshop. For example, now we have this new word called P2, which means to Photoshop, to beautify your photos. And here is a very interesting GIF, and it's written P2 前后. On the left is before we P2, on the right it's after P2. It's completely two different people. And therefore, for a situation like this, we can tell that person, You are so amazing at Photoshop. You are an expert for Photoshop. And sometimes maybe we don't want people to realize that we 
did a lot of Photoshop with the photo. Therefore, we will say 小 P 一下 which means just to Photoshop a little bit. Don't let people discover that、uh, we are Photoshop it. It's our natural beauty. So just the Photoshop a little bit will be 小 P 一下啊。好 ，some other fun examples will be 你帮我 P 一下再发。Please help me to Photoshop it first before you post it on social media. Or, ah,、uh, to be sarcastic to diss someone, you can say, 她的照片都是 P 的 Her photos were all photoshopped. They are not real. P two is all about the photos. However, nowadays we even have the application to. Automatically beautify your face in the video call, and this application super popular in China to be called the, the beauty cam, 美颜相机 So nowadays many people use 美颜相机 to do live streaming or to teach a lesson online. Uh, I also tried it once, and it was a very horrible experience for me. I will show you the effect. After I turned on the 美颜相机 so I'm looking at something like this.、Uh, you can see that、uh, my eye got much bigger, and、uh, the the skin is very clean and very smooth. There's no wrinkles and nothing. And in China, we have this strange beauty standard that if you got a very、uh, slim chin, it means that you are very good looking. So that's why this camera automatically make my chin very narrow. Therefore, you can see that、uh, it's very unnatural. Even the string of the, my headphone got curved, a big curve next to my face. And you can see that on top also the door frame somehow it's twisted like this.、Uh, it's a really interesting. Technology.、Uh, since we are using this application on a daily basis, now the name Meiyan also becomes to a high frequent daily life word. Next time when you have a class with your teacher, ask your teacher, 老师，你开美颜了吗 ？Hey teacher, are you using Meiyan? I'm sure your teacher will be shocked by hearing this question. So, ah,、uh, we have this gift here. It says. 现在是开了美颜 Right now the 美颜 is on. The beauty cam is on. So everything looks perfect. I don't know how do you feel this compared to this, but I feel this is more natural and better than this. <laughs> the next one will be letter N, and N means 无数 in Chinese, which means countless. And N is always followed by the major word. When we use the n letter slang, it always express a impatient feeling. For example, 怎么还问？我告诉过你 n 次了。Why you ask again? I have told you countless times. Or another example, 这个电影我看过 n 遍了。I have watched this movie countless times. Another example, 他是个渣男，有 n 个女朋友。渣男 means a、uh, jerk or playboy. He is such a playboy. He has countless girlfriends. Some other letter slangs. PK is comes from、uh, player killing, which means to battle to fight. Another reality show called、uh, 超级女生 Uh, in Chinese, the translation is、uh, "Supergirl." This show is about a singing competition, and in each episode, one girl will be eliminated. Right before someone got eliminated, there's、uh, a part we call it a PK. So each girl will have the last chance to sing one song, and then、uh, the audience will give the, their vote to the girls. Since this show was so popular in 2005, therefore PK becomes to a, a popular slang in Chinese 
daily life. For example, we can say, 来来来，我们 PK 一下。Come come, let's battle with each other. The next letter is a Q, and、uh, let's take a look at the picture. In this picture, this candy. Think about this. The texture of this type of candy is very chewy, right? Also, xia wan, which is a shrimp ball in Chinese, the texture of xia wan is also very、uh, chewy. Therefore, q or q tan that means a pleasant chewiness. So, for example, sometimes we say, ah, 口感 q tan, which means the texture is very chewy. Ah,、uh, q tan. Well, those are the half-letter slangs I prepared you in today's video. In the next video, I will introduce you the rest-letter slangs, and I promise you, behind each letter slang, there will be more fun cultural insights. And、uh, please keep an eye on my YouTube channel, and I will see you on the next episode. 谢谢大家，我们下次见。